Hello everyone, Miss D here. We're going to work on our mail merge today. So you can open up your data file. It is either in web study or in your email. Um, different classes I sent a different way. So find your newsletter. Okay, and then go to January 2016 and put your insertion mark right by January 2016, just like I have it here. And then put two enters in. Then I want you to go up to mailings because we're going to do a mail merge. So we're going to click on the mailings tab. Go to the start and merge command in the start mail merge group. Click on step by step mail merge wizard. It's asking you if you want to set the document type as letter. And this is a letter. So the answer is yes. So we're going to click next. And it's asking you if you want to use the current document. And we do want to use this current document. So the answer is next. And then we're going to browse out to wherever you put your addresses. The addresses that I sent you. And the addresses would be W03B addresses. So just click that. And then click open. Or you can double click it. Whichever you prefer. Now if you want to put these names in alphabetical order. You can go last name and say assort ascending. And your names now will be in alphabetical order. You always want to check to make sure under the addresses there are no blanks. Okay. And this file is fine. But I'm just letting you know that that is one of the components that you want to double check. If you're doing this on your own and not in school. Then click OK. Now, you want to go to the Write and Insert Fields group and click on Insert Merge Field. First name, space. Then you want to go back and put the last name in. Then you want to put Enter and sometimes you have to put two. So then you're going to put your address in and put an Enter in. And then you put your city and then comma, space, and go back and put state space and then your zip codes all right now we have to close up all of these line spaces because you can see these line spaces are too big so what you can do is go to oh, excuse me what you can do is you can go to your layout or you can go to home okay it doesn't matter uh, which one you go to they both do the same thing if you go to layout just make sure that on on your layout that your um, after is set at zero okay so if you set it at zero it will close everything up all right and if you go to home what you're going to do is click on your paragraph launcher and then you're going to set your line space into single and you're going to make sure that you do not add space uh, between paragraph at the same style of the same style make sure that's enable and click ok but what happens is it still has too many line spaces. So you have to set your insertion marker between the lines and then click delete. Okay. And click delete. And then put at least three enters in. And you have to judge this. It's how it looks to you. Okay. And then we want to go back to mailings. And then we want to go ahead and put our greeting line in. For our greeting line, I like a, a more informal line where it says greeting line format. And it says Mr. Randall. I like Mr. Randall. If you like uh, just his name without uh, the citation in front, you can do that. So whatever you prefer. And then click OK. Now, what I want to do is take some of these line spaces out between um, volume one and number one. Because I know that when I scroll down on this page, this is going to go into two pages and it should be one. So I'm just going to, I'm just deleting some of that, some of the line spacing now. I just made one delete. I'm going to have to make another one because it's still on two pages. Now it's on one page. This looks perfect. Now I'm going to just click my um, preview in the preview results group. Click preview and that looks fine. And then I'm going to go to finish and merge edit in visual documents and all and you'll see that all of my documents are addressed and on one page so every name is different so I have a perfect mail merge document so when I want to send out letters to my customers the same uh, form letter I can do a mail merge 
Thank you all and see you in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye-bye.